Welcome to the PR Maven podcast, a podcast all about growing your network and building your brand through traditional and digital networking techniques. I'm Nancy Marshall, the PR Maven and CEO of Marshall Communications. Stay tuned for this week's episode and thanks for listening. Welcome PR Maven Nation to this week's episode, one of our mini episodes, a quick and informative look at the importance of knowing when you are not the target audience. The podcast is presented by Marshall Communications, creator of the 65-step Marshall Plan process. For more information, visit marshallpr.com. And on the website under PR Maven, you will also find information about my two books, PR Works and Grow Your Audience, Grow Your Brand. This week, I will be sharing my Forbes Agency Council article entitled, Remember, You Are Not the Target Audience. So let's dive right in. One key component of any marketing program is determining a target audience. That is, once you've developed a message, who do you want consuming it? Ask yourself, who should care and who will care? How am I going to create compelling content that attracts the people my business can best serve? If you're representing a tech startup in Silicon Valley, perhaps your target audience is recent Stanford graduates looking for a job. If you're promoting a skiing and snowboarding conference in Boston, then your target audience is most likely the avid skiers and snowboarders in the New England area. For sporting goods companies in New England, you want to be reaching athletes in the region, but also their friends and family, those who could make purchases on their behalf. It may seem like common sense, but your target audience is just as important as the message itself and the channels by which you're communicating it. Picking the right audience can turn an otherwise average PR campaign into a resounding success. Choosing the wrong audience, however, can derail even the best laid talking points. Targeting the right demographic can be invaluable. One of the most common mistakes I see people make when identifying a target audience is assuming that they themselves represent the demographic. Just because you don't use Facebook or Twitter, for example, does not mean that your target audience doesn't. I often advise baby boomers who aren't active on social media and yet are trying to reach Americans who use it every day. And I tell them your blind spot isn't necessarily the average Americans. My mom and I have a joke because as an 88 year old woman, She doesn't care for watching 20-somethings with bare midriffs shaking their bottoms on television. (laughs) She'll complain and say, how can anyone watch this stuff? And I respond, Ma, you are not the target audience. I've said this to her so many times that when she hears me start saying that line, we end up saying it in unison. I have her trained. (laughs) She knows she is not the target audience. Take Instagram, one of the most popular platforms for photo and video sharing. Instagram has 1 billion users around the world. Just under 3% of Instagram users are in the 55 to 64 year old age group. Although many in that age group are probably professional decision makers from small business CEOs to nonprofit executives. Users under the age of 35, on the other hand, make up more than 70% of the platform's users. Therefore, if you're looking to target that age group with a PR or advertising campaign, Instagram can be a powerful tool, regardless of your own social media preferences. Even if you don't post travel photos and share concert videos on Instagram, it doesn't take away from the power of Instagram as a way to communicate your message to others. Identifying the right demographic requires a holistic view of the general population. Think beyond yourself. From college students and CEOs to football dads and soccer moms, the United States is home to more than 300 million people of different ages, colors, and creeds. We truly live in a melting pot. Also, just because someone is female, 40-year-olds, and likes shopping, 
does not mean that she is the same as another person the same age. One 40-year-old woman might like shopping at Cabela's for hunting supplies, and the other might like going to the makeup counter at Nordstrom. So it's important to really drill down and know your audience. I sometimes say that marketing is like marriage. You need to know your partner so well that you can anticipate their every move and preference. Not everyone is like you. Not everyone consumes content like you do or gravitates to the same messages as you. What you find unappealing, someone else may find incredibly tasteful. Because there are so many people in the United States and globally, picking the right target audience is not always easy. But therein lies a golden opportunity, an opportunity to reach consumers you didn't even consider at first. That's what makes marketing fun, at least for me. You have an opportunity to reach all sorts of people by learning more about their tendencies and unique interests. The sheer size of the population forces you to learn. Stepping outside of yourself is valuable in many aspects of life, but especially in terms of communication. Imagine how boring the world would be if you had to send messages only to people like you. Fortunately, there's much, much more to the world than you, my 86, well, actually 88 year old, mom, year old mom or me. Remember that and remember to choose your target audience accordingly. For more insight, get access to my latest book, Grow Your Audience, Grow Your Brand by visiting prmaven.com giveaway and download a free copy today. And here is my friend, Mike Duguay, to share how PR works and Grow Your Audience, Grow Your Brand have helped him. After reading PR Works, I really started to think about how marketing actually works. And I know that sounds a little bit ridiculous, but what I realized is what each platform nowadays that we use out there in digital media and social media has its own nuance and also quirks to it. And understanding how they're used is exceedingly important. Because when you have a hammer in your hand, everything looks like a nail. And you can't approach it that way in marketing. And that's where I think Nancy's brilliance really shined in, in PR works. I think Grow Your Audience, Grow Your Brand is, is really sort of the manifesto of understanding that there's many different levels to marketing. It's on your personal side of your brand, how actually you ex express yourself through business, but also what people hear you saying and what they see out there in the public eye as well. So I think what's really important there, that's really the blueprint of how you go about using these new social media platforms, but also to express who you are as a human being. Because people want to see you authentically and genuinely working with what not only what you do, but also with the customers. And Nancy, on a personal level, I think she just, she, that's who she is. She embodies that approach. Thanks for listening to this episode of the PR Maven podcast. I invite you to share a review of the podcast on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you never miss an episode. You can also join the PR Maven Nation on Facebook. It's free to join and it's a great community of like-minded individuals who are all looking to learn and grow from one another. If you use an Alexa device, use your Alexa app to search the skills and games section to find and enable the PR Maven podcast flash briefing. This will give you access to exclusive content and more PR and marketing advice. Thanks again for listening and have a great rest of your week, PR Maven Nation.